In this problem, we're going to find the inverse of this function. So when you're finding the inverse of a function, the very first step is to replace your notation here, your f of x notation with y. So step one is to let y be equal to f of x. So y is equal to 2 thirds x minus 1 over 4. The second step when you're finding the inverse of a function is to switch your x and y. So step two, so your x becomes y and y becomes x. So x equals 2 over 3 times y and then minus 1 fourth. All right, the next step is to solve for y. So this is step three. There's a bunch of ways to do it. Uh, I'm thinking it might be nice to get rid of the fractions first. So to get rid of the three, we could multiply everything by three. To get rid of the four, we could multiply everything by four. So if you multiply everything by 12, which is three times four, that will get rid of everything. So let's do that. Let's multiply the left-hand side by 12 and the right-hand side by 12 as well. So this is 2 thirds y minus 1 over 4 parentheses. All right, this is going to be 12x equals, so 12 times 2 thirds, you know what, I'm going to show all the steps. 12 times 2 thirds y minus 12 times 1 fourth. So we end up with, let's see, 12x. 3 goes into 12 4 times. 4 times 2 is 8. So we get 8y. And then 4 goes into 12 3 times, so we get minus 3. So we're looking for y, and it's right here. So we just have to get rid of the 3 by adding it. So plus 3, plus 3. That gives us 12x plus 3 equals 8y. We're almost there, we almost have it. y is being multiplied by 8, so in order to solve for y, we'll just divide by 8. So divide by 8, divide by 8, these cancel, so we have y equals 12x plus 3, all being divided by 8. And that would be the final answer. I hope this video has been helpful.